Hello, I'm Steve and thank you for visiting the Patio Heat Channel, where we provide visual concepts of infrared heating as well as tips for ideal patio comfort. Check out our patioheat.com website for sales and more information. Please tap that like button if you find this video useful as it helps others find our channel. Now let's get heating. All right, so I just uh, went ahead and tapped through a few uh, images that were sent to us by um, a client in reference to this area over here, I believe. So let's go ahead and look at the overall dimensions. Overall dimensions I have, um, now I have this wall here, this back wall at 16 feet, and then the depth of the area that they're looking to heat up um, to the outside edge of this post, I have at 12 feet. And then just notice I have this uh, uh, recessed area over here. They're roughly seven feet, one and nine sixteenths uh, of an opening. Also the ceiling height of 11 feet, so the tongue and groove would be 11 feet off the ground. And then I have the overall area of 24 feet from this wall to this wall. And these are just um, some uh, guesswork, I should say. So I don't have the actual dimensions of everything. The only thing I got was they wanted to heat up a 16 by 12 area, and this was the area that they kind of indicated in some of those images. So we're just going to go with that and let me go ahead and turn this off here. Now their um, first impression was to place a couple of units on the back side of this uh, beam over here. And while that might be um, acceptable, the only thing I have to say about that is that there is clearance, uh, clearances that we need to um, adhere to and more specifically the clearance behind or below the heater. So there's 18 inches of clearance on the uh, both sides and with this uh, uh, detail over here um, that might be an issue so um, this may or may not work for them I don't have the true dimensions of this detail up here so that's just something that they'll have to um, look at but you need to have not only the heater dimension opening but uh, 18 inches on either end um, so that we're not interfering with any combustible issues. So that's the bottom combustible clearances, and then this would be the top combustible clearances where we have from this edge here, six inches over, which is not an issue where I have it mounted. I have it, basically I placed the heater straight down to the ground, pointed it straight to the ground, and I moved it over six inches, and then I angled it 30 degrees. Now you might want to go 25 degrees, but I have it at 30 uh, in this instance here. So um, let's go ahead and look at the uh, footprint of heat footprint of heat you'll see that we heat up the area fairly well the only concern is is that I think this isn't a colder climate or um, the climate uh, changes um, drastically within the winter and summer months so if you were sitting um, over here in this space here you're not going to receive the um, the most appropriate amount of heat if you're sitting up say against this wall here as you would if it was placed a little bit differently so um, that's kind of the footprint of heat that you'd get. Is You can see it's a nice good coverage this way, but not um, the depth here. So what else could you do? Um, let's go ahead and look at uh, another possibility. Another possibility would be to place some units um, within this uh, span here. So I have actually, by the way, I should go back a little bit and say that those previous two units were 6,000 watt units. Now these are 5,000 watt dual units and I've had them centered in within the span here um, and with that you can see that the you know the clearances are no issue with regards to top clearances nor are they issue with the lower uh, clearance below so that would be good and then also you can see here with the footprint of heat now the footprint of heat you have a lot of overlapping here um, and these are the 5,000 watt units, which, which are probably ideal for like an 8 foot mounting height. And these are probably going to be right around that uh, 10 foot 3 mounting height. Because if it's mount, you know, mounted to the ceiling, then it's going to be about 9.5 inches off the ceiling. And um, yeah, you can see there's a nice uh, coverage here. So um, ideally, I'd like a little bit hotter of a unit at this mounting height. But if four units here... I think that would be ample amount of heat for this space, and um, that would be my recommendation. All right, well, if you're looking for some assistance with your outdoor heating application and you would like us to review your plans, please send your information to designs at patioheat.com. I'm Steve. Thank you very much for watching, and please hit that like button. That's the only way that YouTube algorithms uh, recognize our
page here. So thank you very much and have a great day.